didn't. I didn't even know that it was going to turn out so good at the doctor's appointment today. This video I go over, did letrozole work? An actual ultrasound of showing you if there are follicles on my ovaries or not, how to take an IUI shot, and a whole bunch of knowledge about the IUI and insemination process. So stay tuned. Welcome to Wannabe Mama. I finished taking letrozole, and that is supposed to have made my eggs in my ovaries mature. They're hoping for multiple eggs, and they'll be able to tell in today's ultrasound. And these are my predictions. I predict that my ovaries won't have responded the way they were supposed to. Why? Nothing has gone to plan since seeing my fertility specialist. Because there have been so many small weird problems that we've had to wait. And this, I have a feeling this will be another thing I have to wait for. I have a feeling that I'm going to have to take a higher dosage of letrozole later on. And this is why. In the beginning, they wanted me to take letrozole, but they found out that I had cysts in my ovaries. And they said, do not take letrozole at this time because taking medicine like letrozole or Clomid can stifle the egg and make it so that the letrozole won't work. They gave me a blood test to see if my cysts in my ovaries were hormonal based. Because if they're hormonal, hormo, horm because if they're hormonal based, <laughs> then that means that the letrozole or Clomid won't work because it will right, stifle the egg. But this is basically my understanding. They were hoping to get rid of those cysts before I started taking letrozole again. Since the cysts haven't gone away, they told me to take the letrozole anyway, so I did. And so I have a feeling that the eggs in my ovaries won't be as fruitful as they have wanted. Hopefully I'm wrong and everything will go as planned. But I'm going to show you on my camera my actual ultrasound so you can see what the ovaries look like, what an egg looks like on your ovary. So let's see what happens. I am driving to the doctors right now, kind of excited to see what is going to happen. Here we go. So this is going to be an appointment that I'm going to have to pay for out of pocket, which means it won't count towards my insurance at all. One really cool thought, like a positive note, is that it's kind of like your kid, it's anticipation. Like whoever gets to feel anticipated anymore, you know? So I'm measuring your lining now. Nine trilaminar, so your lining looks great. Hopefully That's that means nice. you have a good follicle. So your uterine lining, mine is at a nine. They want your uterine lining to be a seven or better. For an IUI, it will only get thicker as the days go by. I had cysts in my ovaries last time. Yeah, I'm wondering if that's what I'm seeing still. By 29, oh. volume 20, because it looks a little big here. So we're going to call this cyst 33 by 24. So it looks stable. Now it looks like the left one said complex, correct? Uh -huh, it was 16. So complex doesn't change to simple, so I think this is a follicle. Yeah that we see now. How can you tell? Like, where is it? It's right here. And I think you have a nice follicle on this side because it looks like a follicle. Well, like, how can you tell if it like, looks like a nice one compared to like a crappy one? Well, it, it just looks like a, it doesn't look like a cyst. So you have two. You have two on this side. They can tell that those were two follicles on my left side because before I took the letrozole, they saw that I had a complex cyst on my left ovary. What's showing up on the ultrasound is a simple cyst. And they told me that a complex cyst can't turn into a simple cyst. All I can say is that they look like a nice follicle. We can't see the microscopic egg inside, so yeah. there's no way for us to know if it's got a really great egg inside. Okay. But we, but we cross our fingers and hope, okay? The doctor said I have two good follicles on my left side. Today turned out a lot better than I thought it would. They're wanting me to take the ovidral shot tonight, so that means I'll get inseminated on Sunday. Wasn't expecting that. I'm so excited. So they told me with the ovidral shot to take it 32 to 36 hours before your scheduled andrology lab. I'm about to take the ovidral shot. I almost forgot to take it because I was editing video. Oh. So I'm supposed to take this out, carefully remove this shot. This is 
it. You see that? The shot has like a little bit of air in it. The air pocket is right here. She says you don't have to squeeze that air out. Like I'm paranoid about squeezing that air out because I don't want to lose any of the medicine. And she's like, you don't have to worry about it. You can put that into your into your stomach. It's going into fat. You don't have to worry about killing yourself with the shot or like losing the medicine if you try to squeeze it out yourself. Clean my stomach area. really uncomfortable okay that's it and that's I don't want all the medicine to escape so I'm just gonna do that grab your fat an inch away from your belly button I think I have a lot of fat I'm nervous the trick to this is to put it in fast yeah I did it that's it that didn't even hurt all done they told me do not take a pregnancy test until two weeks after because if I take a pregnancy test before that, the Ovidril shot, it'll give a false positive because the pregnancy test can't distinguish between the Ovidril shot and like your own natural hormone levels, and so it'll give you a false positive. The IUI will be on Sunday. My fingers are crossed, I'm really excited. And they said the insemination will feel like a pap smear, which doesn't even hurt. The doctor says that it might not work out the first time. Um, she mostly sees it, the IUI working between the second and fourth time, so second, third, or fourth time. So I'm still hoping that everything will work out. And they said if it doesn't work, then we'll do the process over again. We'll have you stay at that same dosage that I'm at at Letrozol, and we'll hope for another two good eggs next month. The IUI process, it gives you a 12 to 13% chance of getting pregnant, which is not very high. But an IUI is higher chance of getting pregnant than just taking Letrozole or Clomid. They say that if you take the Letrozole or Clomid and have intercourse in a natural way, there's a 6% chance each month that you can get pregnant. Only 6%. The IUI get, bumps it up to a 12 or 13%, so that's a lot better odds than normal. And I hope the IUI works, and I'm very excited. <sighs> I'll let you guys know. If you like what you see, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Right there. I will upload videos at least once a week. If you have any questions, feel free to follow me on Instagram and on Facebook or ask your questions below. Thanks for watching Wanna Be Mama. Good luck, ladies.